So recently I started turning our space station into a spaceship. So today... Today we need to make an actual space elevator, yeah. Yeah, we, we need to make an actual space elevator because now... Our ship is gonna be moving in space. We have I've finished some things, I've done some things, and I think we're ready to build a space elevator to get on and off the ship. I'll give you all a brief overview of what the um, the space elevator actually is. It's literally just a teleporter. <laughs> There's no actual elevator. Um, I wish it was an elevator, like a big tower. That'd be really cool, man, if you could fly to it in space, but no. It's a teleporter, basically. So, to build a space elevator, we're gonna need some expensive stuff, but don't worry, because I have all the expensive stuff we need for this. So this is actually a pretty simple process. Pretty simple build thing that we need to make. I think we need to make two space elevators, and I, I don't think they're that hard to make. Um, um, what, what happened to all of our advanced circuits? Oh, okay, there we go. So we probably need about two of these, and then like a million structure blocks, but structure blocks are cheap because we have so much iron at this point that literally anything that requires iron is just cheap. Alright, we need to grind up some copper. I think it goes in the crusher. I think that's what grinds it up. We need a lot of aluminum for this because we're making three coils. Each coil takes eight aluminum, of course. And we need three for the, the build, apparently. I have no idea why an elevator needs coils. Is that for, like, yeah, going so up and down? Six of those. Good thing I have uh, that done. Oh, crap. Only three in there? Yeah, okay. We got 12 coming now. Yeah, this, this is going to go pretty fast, I think. I mean, I have to make two of them, so it's going to take a bit longer, but still should be pretty fast. Quartz, copper dust, uh, redstone dust. Where is that at? Do we, do we have any still? I might run out of it eventually. Yep. Okay, there we go. And here we go. We got one space elevator done. The other one's on the way. We don't need to worry because I think everything's going to finish itself. We don't have to worry about anything. Um, yeah, we might want to, you know, go up and set the space station now. Or set it up now. Oh. Um... Stone slab, stone slab, stone slab, stone slab. Is that double slabs or just regular slabs? Okay, it's got stone slabs all over. Advanced machine structure. Motor. Okay, that's pretty simple. Power inputs. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, power inputs and then steel blocks on the outside. Uh, that shouldn't be too bad. That shouldn't be too bad. Right, so it needs some advanced... Okay. Um, titanium, uh, titanium rods, titanium plates for those. That seems pretty simple. Not sure why they're purple looking, but that's uh, that's just normal. That's just how they normally look, I guess. To make a space elevator chip, you need a space station ID chip, which is uh, okay. And you also need um, tracking circuits, which are a bit annoying to make. All right, I'm producing the chips now. This is the um, precision assembler, if you didn't know. And basically, what it's doing is it's. Uh, doing things to this chip that are kind of strange. But anyway, we need basic circuit plates to make a... one of those things, and we also need a, um... um, um... Eyes of Ender for those, and that's pretty much it. Now, to make a station ship, all you need is... one redstone, one of those, an iron ingot, and a, a basic circuit Instead of a wafer, you need a basic circuit for this one. So, you make one of these linkers, like, uh... Hopefully I did that right. Hopefully I did not just... Th okay, there we go. Linkers, boom. And boom. And I actually have another one of these. Somewhere, I think. Yeah, there, there we go. Unprogrammed. Perfect. And then, hopefully, our other chips are gonna be done soon, so we can actually go into the space with this thing. Oh, we gotta go backwards? Oh, we, we can't do that? Oh, crap. Is this thing super picky like the other ones? Boing. <laughs> oh, man. I just love this machine. It's the best machine ever. Well, I say that about every machine, but they are all pretty good. I'll just use my magic crafting table. Let's see if this works. Ha. Huh. Get in my... Oh, work. What? Work. Oh, you need a precision assembler for these? What the heck? Okay, so we need to set up the space elevator on this side. Boom. Power input plugs. Boom. Blocks of, blocks of steel. Yes. Boom. Okay, science is good. Um, 
what what on earth why why is it what is is it just doing this for me okay so it's actually designing it for me kind of we're almost done with this build and time to assemble it whoa I actually built it right I <laughs> You know, something told me I was going to build it wrong, but I'm not sure what it was. Now we need to go up to the spaceship and build one of these, I think. I don't know how these actually work. I'm just guessing that this is how I'm supposed to do it. Now, I'd, I'm not sure where we're building this at, and I still need to finish that pyramid. It's just looking disgusting. I'll, I'll show you guys what I... Oh, crap. What I accomplished with the uh, quantum entangle quarter. But look at this. It's filling up the massive fuel tank with... Light fuel is not even burning fuel right now. It's just this is just amazing. This is the most power from fuel I've ever had. I mean, th this is gonna be good for polluting the the space, you know. We do have some space off this way. I think this could work for a space elevator. So, um, we're we're gonna build something out out here at some point. I just want to build a place for the space elevator to go for now. And I also need to really make this outside look a little better because it's just a bunch of um netherrack at this point. Alright, so we need to do the same thing as last time, except we need to do it in space now. Oh yeah, earlier I jumped off this tower, and I, w I went into this tab trying to switch from my spacesuit to this, and I landed on like one of the, the rungs close to the bottom, which would have still killed me. I did not die. Th it doesn't make sense. I have no idea why that happened, and I tried it again, and then I hit the same rung and just died. <laughs> <laughs> So, you, you see, there's something strange going on with the tower. Apparently you die some of the times, but it's just so high up, that I guess the game has trouble with that. You know, I always forget my jetpack when I'm going off the tower, and I always forget my spacesuit when I'm going to the space station. Both of these things end up killing me. <laughs> I think we need some kind of solution to this problem, because I, I can never remember to actually put on the spacesuit, or take off the spacesuit. You know, speaking of forgetting to put on spacesuits, I just forgot to do it again. <laughs> Space elevator's finished. Oh, wait a second, what? It's upside down. Or is it? Turn it on. Yeah, okay. Um, how do I hook this thing up? Okay, I just programmed the coordinates into the linker, and we're finally finished. So, we're gonna give this a shot. I expect that this is gonna be worse than the actual magic books, but... Um, not in geostationary orbit, what okay, so I need an altitude controller, I'm gonna make one of these real quick. Okay, we got the altitude controller all finished, we need to go ahead and throw this in there. Now this part is very dangerous, so I've remembered to put on my spacesuit. Anyway, what we're doing now is we're gonna be changing the altitude of the space station, which is gonna cause issues with this book here. But don't worry, because everything's gonna be fine. Maybe, potentially. I don't know if this needs energy or not, it, I'm sure it does. Never mind. Altitude. 2,000 and... Oh, it's actually 3,000. What is this? Target altitude, 38,100 and... Are we getting higher? We're getting higher off the planet. Whoa. The planet was so close before. We're not actually raising, the planet's just getting lower. The planet's sinking from us. It just keeps getting lower and lower. <laughs> we are finally away from the planet, everybody. We now have a spaceship that can fly, and now we also need to link the spaceship. But apparently our coordinates have not changed. The planet's coordinates have changed. The planet has gotten farther away from us, instead of us getting farther away from it. This is not how physics work, but apparently that's how it does. This is actually really cool, because, um, we can see the whole planet from our space yacht. This is great. There is these other controllers for orientation, area, gravity, yeah, uh, all that stuff. And you know, I just learned that apparently the station does not actually move. So when this, it's everything around the station that moves. It's, it's, it just makes sense. The, the space, uh, the, the space station doesn't move through space. Space moves through it, and we have finally arrived. So now it's time to test it out again because I think this is the altitude that is supposed to allow us to go back and forth between space and Earth. I'm guessing. The station is not in geosynchronous orbit. What the heck is this? 
Well, I found a way to make the space station float away from the planet. It's just now constantly floating away. It used to cap at like 38100, but now it's it's going up. It's it's 35 kilometers past that. It keeps going. I think we've created an ability to go beyond our planet without having a warp drive. We're literally floating off into space. Alright, well, I think that's pretty much it for today's episode. We've begun floating off into space. We're going somewhere. I have no idea where. The spaceship is taking me hostage now. So I'll see y'all next time. You know, if you guys have enjoyed today's episode, uh, yeah, you know, do, do all the good YouTube things, you know? Uh, please consider liking and subscribing. If you guys got any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. Uh, I'll see y'all next time, and maybe I won't float off into space. Forever. Hopefully not. <laughs>